Now in this question we're given that the matrix M equals 2A, 3, 6 and A. And we're also given that if A equals 2 we've got to find the inverse matrix of M. So that means that if we substitute A equals 2 into here that uh, we therefore have that the matrix M equals 2 times 2, that's 4, and then we've got 3, 6, and 2. So how do we now find the inverse of M? Well, we should already be familiar with this kind of thing, that if you've got a matrix A, say, which is A, B, C, D, the inverse, A with a minus 1 up here, equals 1 divided by the determinant of A, where the determinant of A is AD minus BC, and then all you do is you switch these two numbers round. Okay, they swap places and then you change the signs of these two values here. So that's what we have here. So applying that rule then, let's first of all find the determinant of M. Let's just write it then as det M. The determinant of M will be 4 times 2. 4 times 2 then, minus 3 times 6, or 6 times 3, let's put 6 times 3. So we end up with 8 minus 18, so that's going to be minus 10. So therefore, we have the inverse of M is going to be 1 divided by the determinant, so that's going to be 1 divided by minus 10, which is going to be minus 1 tenth, if you like. And then that is multiplied by, well, what we have to do then is switch these two elements round. So we'll have two there and a four there. Change the signs on these two. So you've got minus three and here you've got minus six. And you could leave it like that. Or you could multiply minus one tenth into each of these values. And if you do that, you've got an alternative matrix and that would be minus 2 tenths or minus 0 0.2. Minus 3 divided by minus 10 is going to be plus 0 0.3. Then minus 6 divided by minus 10, that's 0 0.6. And then 4 divided by minus 10, minus 0 0.4. And so you've got that alternative version. Okay.